Hey everybody, welcome to uh, my first review of the night. <clears throat> I got a couple requests and I saw that uh, also. Uh, but Defender came out with their uh, Total Security 2011 beta. So I went online and grabbed a copy. Um, installed it. It's got a pretty big installer as of right now. Uh, it's 220 megs. So hopefully they'll take care of some of that size because it's pretty big. Uh, it comes with tune-up, um, file storage, um, and now it's updating. So I'm gonna wait for a second here. And okay, here we go. Um, let me just switch this up to the uh, expert view. Hold on here. Okay, so I got it in the expert view here, so we can see. You can see it, it was just updated. So, what it, co uh, what it comes with. Um, it comes with the antivirus. Uh, if you go to advanced settings, you can kind of see what it has. It has active virus control, intrusion detection system, exclusions. Uh, this is how it comes at the default. For some odd reason, it was on permissive. It should be on medium. So that's set up like that. Uh, let's see here. What else? Virus scan. You got a whitelist. Uh, anti spam. Parental control, privacy control, firewall. Vulnerability, backup. And they now have an online backup service to encryption, tune up, laptop update and of course your registration so let's check out and see how it does here I got I don't know 12 or 13 links in case some of them don't work you get their little anti-fishing toolbar deal Okay, so that one is not working. Okay. Number three. Okay, that was probably one that was downloaded by something that's running in RAM. Okay, here we go. A potentially uh, malicious or infected application. So this would be, I suspect, some kind of uh, behavior blocker. Okay, let's move on. This is number six. Okay, that one from before just got blocked. That one might not be working anymore, nope. That one was blocked. That one apparently isn't working anymore. That one was blocked. That one was blocked. Let's 
try this last one here. That one was blocked. And so was that one. Okay, so we did all the links now. Let's see if we have anything running in RAM. Looks like. Uh, don't see anything other than whatever this is PC Hook Launch 32. I'm not sure exactly where that's from. I think it might be from Bitdefender. But let's run the scan here. And I'm going to run a full scan. And then uh, I'll be back when that's done. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so while trying to rescan, uh, we got a critical error here. So I'm going to submit the bug report to them, and then it's going to restart the security center. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so finally uh, the scan finished. It could have gone a little faster, but whatever. Uh, and it didn't find anything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run CCleaner and install Malwarebytes and do a scan with Malwarebytes. So I will be back after Malwarebytes finish scanning. I'll see you then. Okay, so the scan finally finished. Uh, it took a while and it says it found one thing. So it looks like we have uh, a Trojan that snuck by. So we will remove it. And then uh, I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro, so I'll be back after that's done. Okay, so Hitman Pro finished scanning, and it didn't find anything, which is good. So it looks like uh, Bitdefender is on its way to doing much better. Um, they just have to take care of the speed issue, but it uh, looks like they're getting better and better. So uh, that's it for this review. I'll probably check them out again when they come out of beta. Alright, everybody, take care.